Today on Flora on Food, we're doing something a little bit special. And this episode, I'm calling Ready Maggie Cook. It's original, I know. So to put me to the test, in Flora's compact kitchen, today's special guest has been to the supermarket and bought five secret ingredients. So, of course, I have no idea what they've purchased. I've got to create a meal from those five ingredients and I'm also allowing myself to use a few store cupboard items. So our first ever special guest has been living on the road full time for eight years, living and working out of their T4 called Mork. So please welcome Armando from Westphalia Digital Nomads. Hello. Hello. Well, thanks for having me. Well, thank you for playing along with our little game. And I also want to say thank you for looking after us over the past few, it's all right. few weeks, because we don't really know what we'd have done without you. <laughs> so one thing I want to get straight first is throughout the eight years, how many countries have you visited? I, I don't think we keep track. Do you not? No, I mean, we, we slow travel, so uh, I don't know, 30 maybe, yeah. And uh, from your experiences, what country or even city has given you the best food experience? Sicily. Sicily. Well, I, I'm Italian and my father was Sicilian. So it's uh, both me and Mel, we love Sicily. It's just a place where we found peace and it's really beautiful to visit off season with the van and the food, it's amazing. I mean, all south of Italy, you got the best food for me now. Okay, fair answer. <laughs> so, what is in your magic box? Can I know now? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I bought some something that is not impossible, but still that gives you a challenge. I mean, it's <laughs> not like, oh, uh, do me a pasta in the easy way. Okay. So something that, so should I? Reveal? Reveal, yes. Okay. Reveal my challenge. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, well, wow. So we got chicken with bones, mm -hmm. an orange, okay. ginger. I thought it will be interesting yeah. to have that taste. A pepper, because I know, you know, uh, you every time I go for shopping, you ask peppers, yeah. so you kind of like. But then the blue cheese, I mean, the idea of how you can Put these things Blue together. Blue cheese is definitely a curveball, and I'm gonna have to think about this for a, <laughs> possibly a little bit longer than I originally thought I might have to think about it. So, yeah, right. Thank you very much, Armando. I'm going to take the best part of three quarters of an hour to think about this, and then I'm going to cook a masterpiece. And, um, and then I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, I'll call you over. It's, okay. Give us a couple of hours, mate. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't really know what I was expecting. Part of me thought that Armando might have gone easy on me for our first little challenge, but I don't think there's ever been a classic combination with ginger and blue cheese or orange and blue cheese. So I'm having to think out of the box. But this one might mean we're cooking outside because we're going to go possibly pure comfort food with two different saucy options. I need a little bit longer to think, to plan, but I want to make something edible that we can all enjoy. And blue cheese and ginger, they don't play together. So after a long think and it going round and round in my foodie brain, I'm going to go for chicken wings coated in like a seasoned flour and then deep fried. So I'm going to cook it out here. With the stuff that we've got in the van, so we're going to use the emergency camp stove and then I'm going to do two dipping sauces. One will be a blue cheese dressing and the other will be an Asian inspired soy sauce, sweet ginger orange, bit of honey, and the pepper will go into that one as a little bit of a garnish. So I feel this is the best way to cook these ingredients to make something delicious and edible and slightly indulgent. But 
I think Cal thinks it's a cop-out because I'm not putting it all in one dish, but I want to eat it and enjoy the experience, not just tick boxes for them. I'm not having it. So let's get set up and prepared to cook this delicious wings dish with dipping sauces. I'm hungry and excited. Let's roll. So for our first step, we're going to make the chicken into more manageable pieces. So if you're a vegetarian, look away now. Now we're going to make the seasoned flour. So this is plain flour, salt, pepper, plenty of salt and pepper because you want plenty of taste. And I'm going to add a little bit of spice, but not too much because Armando isn't too much of a spice man. So I'm going to add a small pinch of chili flakes, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. Now it's time for coating the chicken. I'm going to be using soya milk because I don't have any other milk. Normally I would just use cow's milk if we were at home doing this, but this is to moisten the chicken to give the seasoned flour something extra to stick to. And then it's time for deep frying. We're going to be cooking outside today just because it is slightly risky in a van. I know I'm supposed to be doing it in the van, but the smells and the oil and the heat and the potential for spitting oil everywhere, it's better to do it outside. We've got the emergency hob, so it works really well for us. So we've got this big deep pan and we're gonna put a good centimetre to two centimetres of sunflower or vegetable oil in the bottom, which I imagine is much more than what you're used to using at home. But today we are shallow frying. And now it's time to put the pan on to heat the oil and I'm going to talk you through a few of the top tips for deep frying or shallow frying at home. So first up, a bit of a safety briefing. Just be careful of how you lay the food into the hot oil, always lay away from you. And if you're in a compact space like in the van, just keep your wits about you and maybe keep a fire extinguisher to hand. Up next, you need the oil hot, but not too hot that it will burn. So monitor the oil and check that it's not too hot or too cold as you lay your first piece in. And don't overcrowd the pan. So I'm gonna add the chicken to the hot oil now, but I'm probably gonna have to cook it in batches. I'm hoping it's gonna cook in about five to 10 minutes on each side. So let's see how it goes. I'm not really sure how this is gonna go because I've never cooked chicken wings in the van before. Don't think I've mentioned that yet, have I? So whilst the chicken is cooking, you are going to need to tend to it every now and again, but we're going to make the blue cheese dressing inspired dip. So we're going to combine the gorgonzola, crumble it up a little bit and kind of mash it into a bowl. To that, we're going to add three dessert spoons of mayonnaise. We're going to add a small pinch of salt and a big shake of cracked black pepper, a little squirt of mustard, and a couple of glugs of Worcestershire sauce. As you can tell, these measurements are all very much by eye. I've never made this dressing before, and we're gonna see if I need to loosen it with a little bit of soya milk. Normally, if I was at home, I'd use sour cream or cream cheese or normal milk, but we're gonna see how this works, bit of an experiment. We'll add a little bit of a time to make sure that it doesn't go, but yes, let's roll. So it's now time for the Asian inspired dipping sauce. So to start, we're gonna grate the zest of the orange into a frying pan. We're going to peel a thumb of ginger and then grate that into the frying pan too. And crush one clove of garlic add that to the pan also and then we're going to pour in some soy sauce a big squeeze of honey we're then going to dice up some pepper really finely and we're going to half pretend that it's chili yes this bit is a bit of a cop out but i think it works quite well and then we're going to reduce it down into a thick like reduction almost the honey is going to make this extra syrupy and once the soy sauce has reduced slightly after bringing it to the boil, that's what's going to make it a lovely dipping texture. 
So one thing that I keep in the van to make sure that something is cooked and I don't have to like destroy the piece of meat to make sure that it is cooked is a food probe. I'm very much used to having these at work and basically any meat needs to be over 75 degrees C at the middle point or right next to the bone for instance for this chicken. So I have one of these. I don't expect you guys to go and get one but don't have to make it easier. So this here is my little top trick of keeping things warm. So I'm wrapping it in a little bit of foil and putting the lid on top so it'll also kind of rest at the same time and hopefully retain all of its juiciness. So that is my crispy coated chicken wings with blue cheese dip and oriental Chinese style ginger and orange dip too. Let's go and get Armando and see what he thinks. So here we have it, crispy. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> crispy fried chicken wings. Okay. With a blue cheese dip. Interesting. Like a blue cheese dressing. Okay. But dip, and then a more oriental, Asian-y style dip with soy sauce, ginger, garlic, peppers, no chilies. Like so no sour. Uh, sweet sour. Sweet sour quite sweet because there's a bit of honey in there as well okay. the ginger the orange zest and orange juice okay and uh, yeah so are you ready i'm yeah. hopefully hopefully it's not too hot because it came out of the pan not too long ago all right better test it to make sure it's not poisonous well it's crispy yeah mm. that's nice so how you did just flour flour with a little bit of um salt pepper okay a little bit of uh, paprika um, what else do we put in there? A little bit of cayenne. So n I know that you're not a fan of spice. I am a fan. It's uh, another part of my body that is not a big fan. <laughs> well, I will first taste the... No, that's nice and crispy. That's good. Still juicy as well, which I was... Yeah. So what you put here, the, the blue cheese and then how you create... So, blue cheese, mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of mustard, pepper, and then I had to loosen it a little bit. So yeah. I had to think outside the box. So I put a little bit of our soya milk in. It's, it goes, I mean, I never taste something like that because it seems like something more like a garlic mm -hmm. kind of sauce, but it just gives a strong flavor of the blue cheese and yeah. it's nice. Because the first thing I saw when you presented me with blue cheese was <laughs> blue cheese sauce because it's one of Cal's favourites. Um, but I didn't have the rest of the ingredients to do anything like that with. And I thought this was a bit more like American style blue cheese dressing. Okay. So. So you bet good also on the salad, for yeah, example? Really good on a salad. Okay. Maybe with bacon and stuff. Oh, it should keep me the recipe because. Deal. Okay. So I struggled for what vessel to put it in. We could have put it in a bowl, but I wanted to dip it. Well, it's not too spicy, thank you. <laughs> not something that you'd normally put with like American style chicken. Yeah. But I think it's a good fusion. It tastes good, actually. <laughs> I've done all right then. Yeah. Done all right. So next time, because my first idea was, what if I get for you mussels and Nutella? What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm, I think I might decline the challenge and, and pass it back to you and you make something. <laughs> but one thing I found with this is that it might not necessarily be something that we would want to cook in the van because mm. of the hot oil and it spat quite a lot. So And the smoke and the... Yeah. You know. And just it might stink the van out as well. So something that maybe worth pointing out is maybe don't cook this one in your van have it like we did outside yeah the only thing i would love this one i like it mm. i would love a little bit more uh not that liquid yeah a bit more reduced yeah yeah i was trying to go for that but i was going to use too much soy sauce and have nothing left for, <laughs> for emergencies but no that i wanted a bit more of a syrup so okay mm. No bad. Great job. Thank you. I like it. Yeah. Thank you very much. You should probably let Kyle have a taste. Nah. <laughs>
No, this one it's it's really nice. Yeah, I, I like more this consistency of the of the dip, just because it stay better on the on the chicken yeah. and this one it kind of. Mm. I like the because the chicken is not something that have so much flavor, and this one it just boom give that extra flavor. Right then, so that is it from us at Camp Lockdown. All of these recipes will be on our blog by the time this video goes up. So if you're interested in seeing how you can make these, go over there and check it out. So from us and Flora on food, we'll see you later. Toodle pip. Bye.